Today's video is brought to you by URCD Keys, the best source for Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys at deeply discounted prices. More details at the end of the video. Mike comes in with a question about future proofing. And it is, which is better to buy, an 8 core or a 12 core CPU for future gaming? That is an excellent question. Lately, there's been a bit of a, shall we say, kershnuffle about how much CPU that you need for gaming. A number of reviewers have said that nobody needs more than six cores for gaming. If you're just pure gaming. Now, if you're multitasking, live streaming, multiple monitors, content creation, of course, most people would agree more is better. Buy as much as you can afford. But for just pure gaming, clearly nobody needs all these multi-core CPUs. Oh, really? Well, okay, not everybody needs them. Let's throw need out because you don't need to play games. However, we recently published a video on Rogue Tech Gaming showing Cyberpunk 2077 at 1080p. Now, I understand I replace it 1080p, but we are CPU bound, not GPU bound. This is an i9 10900K, 10 core, 20 thread chip. And if you look at the CPU usage, we are using all 10 cores. In fact, in portions of this, we're using 12 to 13 threads. We are into the hyper threading. I have seen at moments it jump to 70 to 80% usage, and it tends to bounce between 50 to 65% constantly. Now, if you have a lower level graphics card, if you're playing at a higher resolution, that CPU usage will in fact be lower. However, the question being asked was future. He specifically said future gaming. He did. Cyberpunk is not a future game, it's here today. Correct. It is the canary in the coal mine that should be warning you of what the future looks like. All of the benchmarks that you saw in 2020 and all the statements from everybody saying six cores is all you need for gaming, those are usually made in videos where they're testing the last two years of games. There's a lot of 2018 and 2019 games in those tests. There are a couple of 2020 games, mm -hmm. and there are exactly zero, zero 2021 games. And if you want to play games in 2021 and 2022, and if you want to build a platform that is going to let you play the game of your choice going forward for the next three plus years, allow me to introduce you to the Ryzen 9 5900X 12 core 24 thread CPU. You don't need it but you will take advantage of it in some games, the list of which will grow as time goes forward. Now, game selection is everything. If you play Call of Duty Modern Warfare, do you need a 12 core CPU? No. Will a six core chip do it? Yes, although eight is smoother in that game, but six will do it. Fortnite, six will do it. World of Tanks, six is plenty. So game choice. But he said future. He did, which means new AAA games. It does mean tri new AAA games. Because if you're asking about the latest free-to-play game that's designed for everybody in the world to play, those are never going to require due to economics. They need millions of people to play them in order to get people to buy in their cash shop. So free-to-play games are always going to be easier to run. Look at Apex Legends. Apex Legends is way easier to run than a game like Cyberpunk because it's free to play and so they've got to sell stuff in the cash shop. It's the only way they can, they can modernize the game. Correct. But Cyberpunk doesn't. And so they do all of this. At this point, I no longer think 16 cores is insane for a premium gamer. Let me qualify that statement. If you're spending $1,000 on your graphics card, mm -hmm. an RTX 3080 or RX 6800 XT, which are not supposed to be 1000 they're supposed to be 650 or 700 they're not, and they're probably never going to be again. And those of you watching this going, I'll just wait till they come back to normal price. First of all, Asus, EVGA, and others have already raised their price. Yep. Um, I don't think that's coming back. And then we've got the tariffs, which have now gone into effect. Correct. I, I think everybody waiting for $650 and $700 cards are, are just, just... 
that's not coming back. Now you don't have to pay 12, 1300 over the rate. Don't, don't go buy from scalpers on eBay, but if you find a 3080 or a 6800 XT for like under $900, you've, you, that's a deal now. And it just is. But if you're spending that kind of money on a video card, you're probably also the person, you might skip the 40 series, but you'll definitely buy the 50 series. So maybe three years from now, you're buying another video card. Mm -hmm. Do you want to have to replace your CPU at that time? Or do you want to be able to grow into it? Grow into it. Do you want to keep your CPU for five years? You pay the extra $250 for a 30, uh, for a 5950X, 50X, 16, 16 core. 32 threads. And it gives you that headroom. Now, will games in the next two to three years need 16 cores? Well, uh, is there anything like this? Pro probably not. Here's an important point. This is not my personal gaming PC. This is a completely clean test bench with nothing running on it. This is a uh, OneDrive's disabled, antivirus is disabled, all of the notifications are disabled. It is a fresh install of Windows that was just done within the last six months. It is clean as clean can be. Yeah, you know what? For the next three to five years, everybody buying eight core CPUs is going to be sorely disappointed. Mm -hmm. And I know what the standard counter argument is here. The standard counter argument is, well, game developers aren't going to make games that most people can't play. Have you looked at the Steam hardware survey, man? Come on. Normal people don't have eight core CPUs. Four and six cores will be fine for years to come. All of you looking at the Steam hardware survey, stop that. The Steam Hardware Survey is based on every stupid computer in the world that has Steam installed on it. That includes all the computers, no offense, in China and India. That includes all the computers in South America and Africa, which, no disrespect intended, tend to have lower power computers. It's just the economics of the situation. Those are also not the people paying $60 for new AAA games. Somebody running a four core chip in 2022 doesn't have the money to go out and buy a new AAA game every month or they would have a better computer. A new AAA game every month is $720 a year. That's a lot of money. They aren't selling Cyberpunk to those people because they can't afford the game. Correct. And, and, and to keep buying them. The people buying these games are the people who can afford to upgrade their computers. And if you can't, then let me introduce you to the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X because those are a better deal. All I want to say is that this is sort of the heads up that says... This is what's coming. This is the future. I understand Cyberpunk is difficult to run. I understand that it is not all games today. I fully understand that buggy, unoptimized mess. Yeah, whatever. It is what it is. Welcome to the future. Literally watching Cyberpunk. <laughs> anyway, that's that. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.